Hisham El Garouche has the record since 1997. And the record is. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. Welcome back to The Running Report, where we report the biggest running news month to month. And on this episode, in the month of February, there was U.S. Indoor Nationals, where there was huge upsets, world leads, American records, and even one world record that went down. Also, February is usually the month of love with Valentine's Day and all that stuff, but this year it was the month of the mile, with a whole bunch of world record attempts and even world records being broken. Also, in the month of February, the youth movement that we're seeing in track was on full display, and we're going to tell you about all the big stars that you're going to look out for in 2020 Tokyo. Lastly, there's a bell lap question, which is a question straight from y'all, so you want to make sure you stick around all the way to the end to see if your question was featured in this month's bell lap. Let's get right into it. Now we got four laps, four topics, and four questions to go. And to start off, we're gonna go to New York City where USA Indoor Nationals were held. And in New York City, there was a lot of upsets and the first big upset was Colleen Quigley. Shout out to my girl Colleen. We shot like a video with her, interviewed at, at Arcadia last year. What face do you make at the end of your races? Oh gosh, really like a... <laughs> <laughs> so Colleen, she's officially like a friend of the channel, I would say. Shout out if you remember it. It was there were good times. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, shout out to Colleen quickly. She snagged her first US title, beating Shelby Coolahan, ruining her all-time like streak of US titles from cross country to track to indoor track, everything like that. But Colleen took it away. She ran a 429 mile. She just destroyed her out, kicked her at the end. Another big performer from USA's was Donovan Brazier. He ran away with a 600 meter and a 113, setting a new world record in a 600 meter world indoors. That was a great time. Donovan Brazier has had a great indoor season, and this is after getting injured in December, so he's only really had like two months of training going into this indoor season. And he was able to run, I think, about the second time, fastest time in the world in 800 indoors, and he got the world record in the 600. So he was doing great things. I'm excited what he's gonna do in outdoor. And some people may say that was the best performance from the whole weekend, but they're sadly mistaken. The thing Mo had a field day in the 600 meter when she ran a 123.6 and ran away with a new American record. And now you're thinking, you're maybe thinking that Dalvin Brazier, he broke the world record. Why is this better? It's because a thing Mo is only 16 years old. She's a 16 year old from New Jersey and she was able to go out there and be professionals like Raven Rogers. She's basically able to outpower grown women at the end of the day in the 600 meter and she got it all done. And I'm sorry, a thing. Like, I'm sorry. Well, first off, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Like, I bet you get it a lot though. You do got hard names, Sam. I'm, I'm being honest with you. But I'm really sorry for just sleeping on you. Like, I didn't realize how much of a beast you are and how. How like good you are running. Last year at the AAU Championships, she was the first person ever to complete a quadruple, where she won the 200 meter, the 400 meter, the 800 meter, and 1500 meter. Like that's the 24815 double. I mean quadruple. It's I mean I don't mean what. That's unheard of. Like wow. And so my question to y'all is like, who is having? better who's more dominant in the high school game is it a thing mo or is it caitlin tui because i remember last episode i said that caitlin tui was the queen of track i called her queen tui and i think i gotta take that off that crown off of miss tui and put it on the team mo because she is killing it and i'm excited what she's gonna do in outdoor like i see like a 158 i don't know if she are she may have already ran that to be honest but yeah, I'm really excited to see what she's in the room. Now with three laps to go, I know how February is usually the month of love with heart-shaped chocolates to hugs to kisses, XO, XO, that gushy, gushy, goo goo, gaga, all that type of lovey dubby stuff. But I'm telling you, this year, February was about the mile. And it all started at Milrose Games when Yomi Kajoka, he went after the mile world record and he was 0.01 off. He was so close. I could feel 
how like hurt he was after that mile. But he was so close. Then just a week after that, he ran the metric mile, the 1500 meter against Sam Samuel Tafera, and Samuel Tafera beat him and broke the world record in the 1500. Like, can you believe that? Two back-to-back -back races. Kajoka almost beat the 1600 meter record and then he comes back, he beats the 1500 meter record, world record, but he doesn't get it because Samuel Tofera beats him and then I think a week or two after that, Samuel Tofera races another 1500 and Jacob Ingerbischen, he beats him, but he didn't break the world record, but still, 18 years old, beats the world record holder in the 1500 who Samuel Tafera is only 19 and Yomi Kajoka is only 21 and they're all breaking challenging the records but I think the best performance was Jacob. Hey, breaking news guys, breaking news. Yomi Kajoka just broke the world record on his third attempt at Boston University in a 347.01. He shattered the world record by over a second, I think over a second and almost a half. This guy is insane. He finally broke the world record. I see you, Yo Meef. Go get your money in the little dance at the end. Ah, like, come on, Yo Meef. He went out there and he did his thing at Boston. Just wanted to answer up this real quick. This recording that I did of this like of this video was like a, yesterday. So like, he just broke it today. It's insane. Okay, now, now back to the recording. Go, go back. Who do you guys think had the best performance from like the whole entire month? I'm sorry to interrupt again, but I'm just so excited about Yomi Kajoka breaking the record, but I just gotta change my pick. Like, my pick's not Jacob anymore. Yomi just broke the world record by over a second, almost a half. Like, he definitely, he, he takes the cake. Like, it's Yomi Kajoka. And I'll take just take away the rest of this. That was the best performance. But I think what this is telling us, and this race in particular, is saying that this mile record won't last for long. Like, it's not gonna get broken anymore. This year well i don't think i hope not but definitely next year and a year after that expect this mile record to be broken again more attempts to be thrown at it because in this race we have uh johnny gork he ran 349 and with last year cheserek uh running 348 as 349 as well and then samuel tafara i'm pretty sure if he went up he could probably have a chance at hitting that mile record as well as he broke the 15 record. So this mile record is not totally cemented. I don't think we'll be there for long, but congrats to Yomi if I take my hat off to you, sir. He's only 21 years old and he's doing big, big, big things. Now with only two laps to go, let's talk about the whole youth movement in track and field right now and how these youth are really just burning up the track. But let's talk about an event that we haven't talked about yet on Running Report and that's the pole vault. And that's Mondo Duplantis. He's a vet in himself. He broke the indoor collegiate record at LSU in a vault in 5.92 and he basically just went off. I love the celebration after he was done. But Mondo, if you don't know who this kid is, this kid is amazing. He's been jumping like this throughout the past like three years not three years now he's really just been dominating the scene i want to say last year at the euro euro championships he won it he's like 18 years old and then also we have kayla davis who basically went off at usa indoors she's a freshman in high school yes i said that she's a freshman in high school only 14 and she ran 37 in the 400 meter she's She's dominating, and then also, like I said, in the miles races, Samuel Tafari, he has the world record holder in the 1500 meter indoors, and he's only 19 years old. Yomi Kajelka's 21. Jacob Incubation, he's 18. Like, these youth are really, like, coming in fast, and it really just, like, puts it on me. Like, I need to step up and get in the game. Like, I need to eat my Wheaties or something, bro, because <laughs> these dudes running away from me. But I think the main reason for this is it's because of 2020 Tokyo. I think people are really just starting to put in the work now. And it's just like happening like psychologically. And I think that really just happens as we get closer to the Olympics. There's always people running big times and there's always a lot of people trying to get to that spot as the Olympics is everybody's dream and everyone, everybody wants to get there and track and field in. I don't know, everybody's just running for it right now. And it just really just makes track and so it's a great time to be a track athlete. Now with only one lap to go, it's time for the bell lap question. And this question comes straight from y'all. It's any question, it can be out of pocket, it can be track advice, girl advice, guy advice. I don't know. 
I don't know, any question that you guys can think of. And I basically just do that on Instagram or on Twitter. So make sure you guys follow us there on Instagram, on Twitter, at Rosie Project, and you can be featured in the next Runner Report. And this week's question comes from David SXF, and he's asking, what is the hardest track event, especially to be competitive in? And personally for me, I think the hardest track event is 800 meters, but I feel like that's kind of biased because I'm an 800 meter runner and 800 sucks. I couldn't imagine running 140. Like 140, it's what? It's, it's wait, what was his splits? Hold on, hold on. What was this guy's splits? Grammarly can help. Gra no one Assistance wants Grammarly. What was this man's splits? In the the it's 49. Okay. 49 first lap. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh my, 140, 51, a 49, 51. Exactly, 49, 51, that's, that's, that's unheard of, basically. It only happened once, and David Radisha did it, so I think that's probably the hardest event, but I don't want to be, like, super biased, so I think the second hardest event is probably the 400 meter hurdles. And I'm saying the 400 meter hurdles because I feel like you really need the strength of an 800 meter runner and you need the strength and you need the speed of a 400 meter runner and like the strength of that because the strength of those races are sort of slightly different. As I feel like you, you go way more lactic in the four than the eight. The race that is more most competitive in, I think especially in America, is the women's 100 meter hurdles. I think that's definitely like the most stacked. Cause what was it in uh london we went one two three in that event for the women like the woman 100 meter hurdles in america is stacked bro that's definitely like the hardest event on the track like for real like to compete in but in the hardest event on the track 800 400 meter hurdles i'll throw a four mile as well steeplechase but yeah that's that that's my opinion and then I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Running Report. Make sure that you guys comment down below like your response to these questions and make sure you answer all the things. I'm going to put tags up here. So make sure if you didn't, go back and answer those questions. So I really want to hear from y'all. This is supposed to be like a community type of like video right here. So I really just want to hear from y'all and your guys' points of views and not just sit here and just listen to me all the time, you know? You feel what I'm trying to say? You, you get me. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, on Twitter. Like, comment, subscribe. Share with your friends. Start a debate. Track debate. I, I, I'm just saying stuff off the top of my dome now. I should probably stop talking. I think this video is really long. Okay, whatever. <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Why am I still talking? Run the report. Out. I dare you to take a little pain. We're not just here to take part. We're here to take over. Tell them. Tell them. I'm sorry, y'all. The last part of that was really bad i'll try next time to make it better more structured and stuff okay i'm talking way too much i don't think i'm gonna use this but if i do though i'm sorry if i if i use this i'm, I'm really sorry i'm sorry